Who will Future Gohan fight next? Will it be Goku? Will it be his mentor Piccolo? Will it be Trunks? Or will it be himself? In this video, we're going to talk about those possibilities as well as the other hooded warriors. Who are they going to fight? So let's get right into this right after this intro. Before we start today's video, I want to give a shout out to two people this time, and that's Turn Up Fred as well as Vince for saying, keep doing your thing, bro, love it, and Turn Up Fred saying, great vid, my boy. Now, if you want to be shouted out in the next video, all you have to do is watch this video to the very end, leave it a like, commenting something nice, as well as be subscribed to the channel. And with that being said, let's jump straight into this video. Now, this is not the first time that we've seen these hooded warriors or these warriors in black. In the previous arc, which is the space-time war arc, we were introduced to one particular hooded figure. His presence was such a mystery. We didn't know who this guy was. Was he a Saiyan? Who could he actually be? Throughout those months, we got promotional material showing that it could possibly be Bardock. We even seen this hooded warrior turn into a Super Saiyan, so we knew he was a Saiyan at that point. A lot of people speculated that it could have been future Goku, future Goten, but no, it was indeed Bardock. That theory was then backed up at the end of that arc. This mysterious woman with blue hair who we know as Ios asked the hooded warrior, did he save his son? Of course, we all Dragon Ball fans, we know who Goku's father actually is. Now we also got introduced to a couple of other hooded warriors, but we didn't actually know who they were. A green, like Namekian, like hooded warrior or hooded figure, as well as one with no arm. Now we just figured out that this one is Future Gohan. Everybody at this point should know that. There still is one skinny hooded figure who we don't know the identity of. I see a lot of people speculating that it could be Gine. That would be a cool way for Super Dragon Ball Heroes to introduce Bardock and Gine to Goku. We'll probably do another video about that. What intrigues me more right now at this moment is who future Gohan is going to fight next. The title for the next video is called A Fierce Battle That Transcends Across Space Time. The Threat of the Warriors in Black. But this next episode is going to be strictly about them. We're going to see future Gohan fight somebody else. Seeing him face off against Piccolo would be very interesting. Seeing him have a sparring match against his own father from a past timeline. We already see grown in power tremendously. Now before I go any farther, let me know in the comment section below, who would you want to see him fight next? Out of Goku, Trunks again, or Piccolo? But what I really want to know is how strong are these hooded warriors? Do they all still have the same battle strength? Because we all know that Goku is right now the strongest with Ultra Instinct as well as the Universe Tree Super Saiyan Blue power displayed in the Space Time War Art. I wonder if he can tap into that power again. Now I'm putting an image on the screen or maybe a video showing another hooded warrior that we completely do not know the identity of. The legs and arms are skinny. It looks like it can be a woman. Like I said, a lot of people assume that it's Gine. If I put a side-by-side -side picture of Gine and this hooded warrior together, it could possibly be her. The question is why? Why would they put Gine along with other hooded warriors? Super Dragon Ball Heroes could be tying in that in the recent chapter of the Dragon Ball Super manga, Goku just learned about Bardock. He actually had a flashback of his father and mother. So could this be Super Dragon Ball Heroes incorporating both of them to the series to go along with what's actually happening in the Dragon Ball Super manga. So at this point, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we've only seen four hooded warriors. One being that dark green Namekian-like one, one that's obviously Bardock, one that's obviously future Gohan, and this third one, or this fourth one, that is a mystery. She's very skinny, or he or she is very skinny. And as of yet, we just do not know. Now, will this identity of this hooded warrior get released in the next episode? Could be. I would say that that's a 75% chance because the next episode is about the warriors in black, the threat of them. Could we possibly see them take out some of our Z fighters? Notice they only showed us three groups. After round one, we only seen three groups. That's the original Capsule Court group that showed Capsule Court Goku, Vegeta, Yamcha, Jiren, and Hit. 
And then we also seen the Xana Warriors, the Time Patroller group. And the third group that we seen was Hearts group. Of course, we did get to see the Turles and Raditz fight, Raditz having Super Saiyan 3. We seen the continuation of the Jiren and Broly fight, which we already know what happened in the manga, Jiren 1. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a card at the top as well as a link in the description below. It's the video before this one anyway. As far as the fight between Janumba as well as Kid Buu, we don't know the winner of that fight as of now. But it did look like Janumba was struggling and Kid Buu was smiling. Questions for the end of this video. Question number one. Do you think Ginei is the fourth hooded warrior in that group? Question number two. Do you think future Gohan as the hooded warrior, would he fight Piccolo or would he fight against his father next? Or maybe even his past self? Question number three. If you can control how this Super Dragon Ball Hero story is actually going, what would you have happen next? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you made it to the end of the video, then 9 times out of 10, you're a very loyal subscriber. And I thank you for your continued support. As you well know, Yellow Plays is where I post all my Dragon Ball content. Effective immediately, I will be posting all Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Super Manga, or Dragon Ball Super Fan Animations or Mangas on my second channel, Yellow Plays 2.0. All Super Dragon Ball Heroes content will remain on this channel. For those ones who may not know, I also have a gaming channel called The Yellow. It has 43,000 subscribers on it. So show me some support. If you follow my Dragon Ball Super Manga videos a lot, then subscribing to Yellow Plays 2.0 would be the best choice. Once again, thank you for watching to the end of this video, and I thank you all for your continued support.